hello there how are you thank you for checking my video you are welcome to this channel my name is Ade Me. Um, so if you are new in this channel please subscribe to this channel like this video and share so what we're going to be doing um, basically today is um, creating a custom info box custom info box using Elementor without any plugin yeah so um i saw this post in elementor community group um someone posted this and he's asking how we can create something like this with elementor so i'm just going to get into that and do it right away let's get started yeah so i'm just going to create a new page i'm just create a new page um let's call the page custom in box sorry my network is kind of <sighs> custom info box I'm just going to edit with Elementor and um, so we are going to be needing um, two widgets the icon widget and um, the um, the icon widget and the CTA call to action yeah call to action so by default let me just create my section so you can create your section with three columns to achieve this you can create your section put in a section and had uh, with three columns and you can use uh, custom positioning and all that but um yeah that is going to i'm going to show you how to do that um but it's going to uh, there's going to be some eus around the mobile responsiveness and all that it works so well on desktop and and um the tablets but on mobile uh you are going to be needing hiding widget and all that and it's going to create what we are trying to avoid so i'm just going to put in a section and show you the um easiest way to achieve this with three columns i'm sorry duplicate column just like this is what we are trying to achieve so i'm going to insert my widget icon widget icon widget and um and um cta the reason why we need to use CTA is because of the button. There's a button here. There's a button here. Info um, icon box is not having a button. So we don't need this image. Let's delete it. And our content. Um, let me just program and. Uh, um, 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 um. So button is read more. So our icon is going to be framed and we need to reduce the size some bits. Let's say, yeah, I think this is okay. Then the color, secondary color, please set secondary color to white. By default, it is transparent, but please set it to white. It's going to help you achieve what you are looking for. So um, primary color, let's just use black. So let's change the colors for this city as well. You discover there's a kind of gray background the city is having we need to remove that that's there by default so we're going to put white um and, 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 and so the button as well let's change the colors and all that the background for the button black and the text um white so radius i think radius is zero is having radius so just as you want it um so 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 i think yeah that's all now we need to do the tweaking and all that first you need to add a border to your cta widget let's make it one so the color i think it's black by default yeah so this is one then we need to adjust the padding of this to suit what we are looking for let's say this is 50 20 20 20 yeah yeah 
So what next is we are going to use a um, negative margin to draw this to top, let's say 51 or 50 or thereabouts, whatever suits your screen and, and all that. So you discover it's overlapping. So we want this to be behind and the icon at the top. So let's say the set index of this to zero and that of icon to one. You can use any number, just make sure that that of the icon is greater than that of the info um, CTA. So this is what we have on this screen. So I'm just going to change the icon and make it look very close to what we have here. I think our border width here is yes, it's kind of tiny. Yeah, one is enough. And padding we can increase it some bit. So we need to adjust this as well. Let's see. Fifty-five. Just walk around it to give you what you are looking for. So this box this should be enough. So let's duplicate instead of creating all afresh. So I'm going to delete this column and all that. Yeah, one more thing. When you check your button here, the button is kind of spread. So what we're going to do is um, um what I'm going to do basically is write a CSS code to make this button full width. So I'm just going to do that right away. So um, using um, ESPET, so I was able to get the CSS um, how to target this button. So I'm just going to paste the code here right away. I have, um, so this is this code, Elementor hyphen CTA underscore button dot um, Elementor hyphen button. So this is going to give us uh, target this button so I can just write with 100 percent so you see we now have what we have here we now have what we have here so we can um, adjust the the colors the icons and all that um, just to bring us close to what we have here exactly so that's how you design something like this basically so if you have um, any question any thoughts what you think please drop your comment uh, drop your thoughts in the comment section um, in the comment section and um, like this video please share this video and subscribe subscribe this is going to be uh, the channel is still very young and very new it's going to be a very huge encouragement for me so please subscribe like and share and um whenever i see any post in the elemental community and all that that i i'm going just i'm just going to make a video to explain it that's what this channel is all about it is a community-based channel solving problems that people are asking so not just random tutorials out there so if you have any challenge with elemental you want to achieve a design and all that please let me know in the comment section and i will make a video as soon as i lay out on this solution i don't know everything so what i know i'm going to share so thank you god bless you oh let me publish and so we take a look at how this look um, so let's have a look So here we go, thank you, God bless.